In this video, we're going to take a look at the course info section, which is where your students will be able to see any course updates and news, as well as have access to any handouts that you've uploaded and made available. On the left side here, you'll see that we have our updates, and over here on the right, you'll see the course handouts. If the handout is something like a PDF, such as this demonstration handout, clicking on it will open it directly in the browser. However, if the handout is a Word document, such as the syllabus, it'll automatically download to your computer. Now, editing this section is really simple. To do that, I'm going to go on over to Open edX Studio. From Open edX Studio, click on Content and choose Updates. This is the Course Updates page, where you're able to edit or delete any updates or handouts that you've made available. To add a new update, simply click New and type your update here. This is an HTML based editor, so you can do pretty much anything you can with HTML. You'll notice the date is also adjustable, however, this won't change when it's available to be seen by students. If you change the date for some date in the future, it'll still be viewable by students as soon as you post it. The handouts is similar, but a little more tricky. This is also an HTML editor. So we have to figure out how to be able to link files in a way that, well, looks nice. To give you a better look, these three lines I've highlighted are basically what comprise a handout. I'll put that syntax in the description of this video so that way you can have easy access. Now I'm going to show you how to add a handout. We'll start by going to our Files and Uploads section. Let's say I want to add the syllabus as a handout. I'm going to copy the studio link, and then I'm going to go back to updates, click edit, and I'm just going to paste the studio link here for now so you can see what I'm doing. Copy these three lines, paste them to a new line, and now I'm going to copy that studio link to the syllabus file, and I'm going to paste it in this href section. Here I can change the name of the file, which I'm just going to call syllabus2 since I already have a syllabus there. Click save, and there it is. Now if I refresh my student side, we can see that the update and the file that we've added are both right there. And that's all there is to it. 